Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I'm making another table topper. Um, this is for an old TV cabinet. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. It's older than my husband and I have been married, which is 40 years. Um, it's a cabinet that his parents gave to us when we were when we bought our first house and um, we set our TV on top of it because TVs didn't fit into it at that point so this was back in the 1980s and um, I want to make a topper for it so it's pretty deep because if, um, if you're as old as me you remember TVs used to be have the big tube on them so they were really deep so this one is 22 inches deep by 24 inches wide. Okay, so what I thought I would do is take, is take four of my 10 inch blocks like these and sew them together. Um, but that would mean a lot of seams matching up. So to uh, avoid that, I'm gonna sew a one inch strip in between each of the blocks. So I've got two pieces cut one and a half by Ten and a half, and then I have a long strip that's one and a half inches wide, which is over on my quilting table at the moment. And I'm going to um, cut that down to size after I get these together. So I'm going to sew um, a ten and a half inch. This is the background fabric of these blocks. It's the same that's in the background. So it's not going to be real contrasting. So uh, I'm just gonna sew these on the first block. This is the upper left hand corner block. So I'm gonna sew this on and then sew this to the next block, the upper right hand corner. this on get my there we go okay so I have that strip on here and then I'm going to sew the next block onto it and that's this is um, I'm thinking it's twirling tops I can't remember this is the farmer's daughter block anyway now I'm going to sew this one on I sew sashing between blocks I don't normally use the background fabric to sew between them because um, that way the blocks just kind of float um, but on this one since it's just a narrow strip um, I thought I'd give this a try and see if I like this okay here's the second row so this is the lower left hand block
and then I'm going to sew on the lower right hand block and I want this one to go this way. Let me go like this. Here's the second row. Let me turn threads and show you that. Okay, so there we have that. So I'm going to press these seams in like this, and then I'm going to sew these two rows. I'm going to sew a strip between these two rows and then sew the rows together. Okay, so now I have my strip for the sashing between the rows. So we're going to Sew that one on. And I haven't measured this out, so I'm not being real accurate here. Uh, or real precise. It's going to be accurate. It's just not going to be precise. This fabric I'm using is scraps I have left over from other projects, so I didn't have to go out and buy anything else. Okay, so there's the sash in between the rows, and then I need to sew these rows together. And I'm not going to add any borders to this because I'm afraid it'll make it too big. I would have to put a really narrow border on there and um, um, I just don't want to mess with it, and I really don't have the time, so um, I'm going to go without borders on this one. Now for my smaller ones, I did the same thing. I didn't put outer borders on the smaller table, table toppers either, so we're just going to follow on through. I'm going to 
press this and we'll look at it and um, I'll trim off this extra piece and then I need to layer it so that I can quilt it. So let me go ahead and press and I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so here's the topper all completed. These blocks are floating because the sashing is the same color as the background. So they look like they're floating and I think that looks nice. I think that's fine. So now I'm going to cut the backing for this and a piece of batting and um, baste it together and uh, do a little bit of quilting on it. I have lost most of the footage of the quilting that I did on this topper. But once again, I am just doing some straight line quilting. I'm basically going to be doing a cross hatch. Here I'm just uh, stitching in the ditch between the sashing and then I just cross hatch within the blocks. So um, real simple quilting. Uh, quilting on my domestic machine is not a skill that I'm really good at. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to get better, but um, you know, when you have a long arm, it's just so much easier to move the machine than it is to move the fabric. So um, the long arm is my, my uh, choice for quilting most of the time, except for these small projects. And then lately I've been using my domestic machine. So here I think I'm clipping um, some basting stitches because the, the top is shifting. So um, that just kind of releases the tension on there and keeps it from puckering. So um, and at the end here, I'll have a photograph of the completed topper so you can see what that's like. And it's sitting on top of the TV cabinet that I have it sitting on. So it um, gives you an idea of what that looks like. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.